This video will explain doing a boom clean out on a Rogator C series. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the Viper and we are going to close our current job. Close the job. The job has been closed and I'm sitting on the run screen. I'm now going to verify that my sparger valve is closed. I can do that by looking at the valve behind the seat. And I can see that the red line is uh, in crossways to the hose, so we know that the sparger valve is closed. Now I'm going to go back over to the terminal screen. I am going to press on the ISO rogator. I am going to go to the wrench with the tank. And I'm going to go to the third icon down, which looks like a bone with the arrows pointing down. That is going to put me into a couple of different boom cleanout options. I have the option of clean out with injection or without. I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, no injection, as this unit is. It's now going to ask me to close the sparger valve and close the sump valve uh, if it's equipped. As you can see over here, my sump valve is closed as I don't have any red lights on. I'm going to go ahead and initiate the green check mark that I've done that. Now we'll watch the air pressure actually grow inside of the vent pipe. If we look down here, we're no longer red flashing on our boom section switches, which means that we are in the boom cleanout mode. I will now go ahead and toggle the boom section, and now I am moving that product out of the boom line with compressed air. Come back over here, you can see that I've lost my air. I'm going to go back and shut the section back off. I'll go back up here, watch my air pressure grow again. Now I'm going to move down to my next switch turn it on. It's now spraying out with compressed air. It's on. Kind of keeping up with a little bit of air pressure. But if I toggle it back off, you now see my air pressure start growing again. Continue to keep cycling this until the boom is free of product. That's a boom 